Okay, we are here at the power station here in Battersea and this is the bag that I'm rocking. And the thing about a bag is you don't want it to be clunky and like huge. This thing is just about the perfect size. It's a different backpack to what I've always had, which is like a big bulky kind of like streetwear backpack. This is sick. It's got the two cup holders inside. It's got two pockets. The first one being a laptop pocket, the second one just being an everyday. Ah, but you've actually got two bonus pockets. One at the top here, which to be completely honest, I don't really use all that much, but maybe I should. But then there's another one right down the bottom, which I use a lot, especially for my WeWork card, because it always goes missing. Another really good thing about this bag is the laptop pocket can fit the largest M3, latest MacBook Pro that's 15 inches, which yes, I upgraded to and more about that coming soon. For the longest time I've been a 13 inch MacBook guy and never had any screens, well, things are changing a little bit. And one of the first things you're gonna notice when you open up the main pocket, check this out. You have a lot of space and I'm getting to that gear soon. But look at this, more pockets. Look, stuff in there, we've got double mesh right here. You've also got a couple of handles that you can hold from, so one handle there, another one right there. Now, comfort and fit wise, this thing is sleek. Look at this. Super basic, super boxy, really, really nice for like all situations. In fact, when I get on the subway, I almost don't take my bag off most times. Yeah, I think you get it. It's a Lululemon bag, super sick, go get it. Now, let's get into what's actually in the bag, most important. And just before we get to that, have you ever had that million dollar app idea at 3 a.m.? Well, I've got a brand new one. Think Strava, but you earn when you work out. Not bad, right? But here's the thing, building an app isn't just about coding. It's like juggling while riding a unicycle in a hurricane. We've got UX designs, we've got engineering, we've got marketing, and about 47,000 other things to do before we can ship our MVP. Now at first, we did what everyone else does. Endless email chains, random spreadsheets, and Slack messages that disappear into the void. Classic startup world. But then we discovered Monday.com, and honestly, it's like having a virtual project manager that never sleeps. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's our entire app development pipeline in one beautiful view. With one click, everyone on the team gets notified about their tasks and no more of those did you see my email messages. Pretty good. Need a timeline view for sprint planning? Done. Want to track design feedback? Easy. Need to automate status updates? Well, monday.com does this for you automatically. For our fitness app, we've got everything from UX flows to API integrations all mapped out. And the best part, everyone can see exactly what's happening in real time and collaborate on the go. Now, if you're building anything from a startup to a YouTube empire, you need this in your life. Click the link in the description to try monday.com for free and get your projects actually moving. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go log a workout and earn some cash while doing it. Back to the video. <coughs> All right, let's get into the bag tour. So first thing up is the glasses case. I have an incredible case of astigmatism, which means my eyes are like rugby balls, which means that when I'm coding, if I don't have my glasses on, I get crazy headaches throughout the day and I can't really see properly. So that's the first thing, most important. And this is one that I got into earlier in the year, Muji. This is literally just a blank notebook, but for everything at Sub and all the startup series and such, literally everything was planned in this book. Yeah, anyway, highly recommended. And I pair that alongside two of these Muji pens. Well, the main one being this red one, which is like, I think it's like a dollar, but it has two sides. It's got the ball point on one side. Well, this is more the Sharpie side. And then it does have the fine tip as well. So you can get all those different kind of pen stylings going. I don't really like digital notes so much. So having the pen and paper, highly recommend. All right, next thing, which is crucial to my everyday because I'm a little bit of an OCD freak when it comes to my laptop screen, my glasses, any other surface that I'm using, is I carry this. Now, when I bought the camera, which I'll come to in a second as well, I got given this, which is essentially the microfiber towel. I've got the spray. I've got like a little duster, all sorts of little things. I use this daily. Maybe not this. <laughs> but I use the rest of it daily. Now moving on to some of the tech products that I use every single day, especially for this YouTube channel, is a wide 15 millimeter 1.8 Sony E-mount lens. Now this 
is what gives that super wide effect when I'm holding my camera out on all of the vlogs that you've seen over the past year. Beautiful little lens, super cheap. And if you know anything about cameras, you'll know that this is a crop lens. I have a full frame camera, so it actually does have a little bit of distortion, but that's okay, I don't really care. It's about the artistic effect. But anyway, great lens, use that every single day. The lens that's on the camera is actually a Sony 20 millimeter 1.8 lens. That's a G Master lens, full frame. And as you can see, it's a little bit nicer for shots like this where someone else is holding the camera gives that nice blurry effect around me and such so yeah really really nice lens my second lens that I use almost every single day and then that's followed by the Sony ZV-E1 which is what Maddie is shooting on right now beautiful full frame camera we got that as soon as we hit New York and we decided yes we're gonna go all in on filming all the vlog content in New York if you want to do any sort of like professional content or even just like YouTube vlog content the Sony ZV-E1 super sick camera mainly because one it's full frame two it's super light three it's super small and compact I've had some heavy and really wide cameras in the past and this one's super light especially for when I'm actually getting out and about but speaking of the vlog content there's actually one piece of gear I completely left at home which is the handle that I'm using every time I'm vlogging and walking in the streets that I attach to the Sony ZV-E1 I'll put a link down to it below but can't remember what the name of it is but it's amazing because it's super lightweight super small but it also has those legs that you can bring out and create that kind of like tripod effect on any surface so super handy the next piece of gear which is this piece right here that i'm talking into is part of the dji mic kit 2 or one it's got the receiver that i attach to the top of the camera and then that just means i've got beautiful audio everywhere i go gonna wait for that for a second this is the thing about filming in cities like New York and London. Now one of my new additions to my tech bag is this. Insta360 X4, shout out to Insta360 for sending this through. This thing is what got those super sick shots at the start of the vlog where I was on the bike, on the bridge, going through the park. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh well, uh, welcome to the bag tour. <laughs> But yeah, it films at 8K, you can literally hold it out anywhere you want. But the coolest part is you actually edit where it's pointing afterwards, which is a super weird concept, especially when it comes to filming anything. Oh my gosh, I literally was just, okay, I've been coding all day. I have my AirPods in, my AirPod Pro 2s from Apple. They're the best headphones I've ever had. And I don't know, I don't care what you say about Apple. They just are. They're super light, they fit in my ears, they last all day, and I use them literally all day. Anyway, they're normally in my bag, and I'll put a link down below to them. Now moving on to some crucial parts that I actually use a whole lot more than you would think. The first one being a charger. Apple always give you a charger when you buy a MacBook, but yes, you need to have a charger. I use that almost every single day. Well, actually no, I can actually get away with full days of coding without charge, and then I actually end up charging it the next morning. So not bad, some sunnies just in case. The first one being an Apple USB-C, to lightning just to charge almost any device that I have from Apple so fantastic my AirPods my iPhone and number two USB-C to USB-C this thing is super super handy when it comes to DJI gear or the Insta360 gear you won't believe how many times this comes in handy so yes highly recommend last few things my wallet just in case you know gotta buy a, a dev club member some drinks while I'm out or something all right but last but not least it's the Apple M3 Pro this thing is a beast. Now I have been, I told you earlier in the video, a smaller screen 13 inch MacBook guy for a really long time. I used to have a lot of screens back in the day, but this thing has absolutely changed my life. Now I never thought that I would be the kind of guy to go for the sides. I've always found that a little bit icky. I don't know about you, I really liked how the 13 inch was just compact. It almost felt like you could go anywhere with it without anyone even noticing that you're using it. But this thing, is a beast. Not only do I have the extra screen size, so now I've got like Figma on one side, I've got a browser in the middle, and then even sometimes can have cursor on the side. I've also switched to cursor, amazing program. There's just so much more space that you can just do so much more with it. So highly recommend, if you want this one, I will do this exact spec down below. It is souped up though, so be prepared for that. And that's just because I'm running like four dev servers at once. I've got all sorts of different files open. I've got Figma open, I've got Adobe products open, I've got browsers open, I've got 14 YouTube videos playing at one time because I just love to multitask. Um, yeah, otherwise, that's the MacBook. <laughs> and, as you can see, it fits beautifully inside the bag. Moving on to some questions that I did see in the comments, which are, 
What are the clothes you wear? Well, <laughs> I'm a very basic person, and when I find a store that I like, I normally just wear everything from one store. Hence what's happened as soon as I moved here to London. Most of what I'm wearing here is from Uniqlo, and then this is literally from Lululemon, because Lululemon, once again, same with the bag, make super clean, very modular type stuff. And when I say modular, Yes, coding term I know, but modular means that you can move it around and kind of piece things together where they make most sense. This I can use right now when it's freezing, but I also use it for going on a lot of runs, both here and in New York City. So yes, Uniqlo, Uniqlo, Lululemon, New Balance. So anyway, that's the bag tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to get any of those products, there will be links right down in the description. Also, shout out to monday.com for sponsoring the video. If you want to remove all chaos from your startup, from your project, maybe even your company, click the link down below, risk-free. Go try out monday.com. They are freaking awesome. So shout out to them for sponsoring the video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys all in the next video. I've got some work to do. So I'm going to take my bag. I'm going to get out of here. See you later.